Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review for the new flashback player SPC, Carlos Tevez. Um, to be honest, right off the bat, it wouldn't really necessarily be a card that I would do myself because he's from Argentina. So if you use players from Argentina, you're going to have to think of links. And then we're going to be doing a, a squad builder afterwards to see what types of teams we could put him in. Um, 88 pace, 92 shooting. Let me just lower this real real quick. 92 shooting, 80 passing, 88 dribbling, 85 physical. So the general stats look awesome, right? Medium low work rate isn't too bad for an attacker as well, uh, but he is five foot seven. No weak foot, or it's not no weak foot. He has a three star weak foot, but three star weak foot's not necessarily ideal. It's better to have um, a four star weak foot. If we look at his attributes, we have 90 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. So it's better to have the um, acceleration over the sprint speed. He has 86 agility, 83 balance, which is a good balance between him because he is also five foot seven. So his center of gravity isn't going to be uh, that terrible. It's actually going to be pretty solid. Uh, we have 83 reactions, 86 ball control, 89 dribbling, 90 composure. So 90 composure helps out a lot in the uh, in the dribbling aspect and the shooting aspect. He has 92 finishing with 99 shot power as well, which is obviously very good too. Uh, so his shooting is probably going to be very consistent, right? Except for the 1v1s, because 1v1s in general are not consistent. But his shooting from outside the box in regards to finesse shots and stuff, he won't really screw up those opportunities because he does have good composure uh, and good finishing shot power, right? He has the strength, aggression, and stamina. So again, bare minimum for that to all be good. So uh, a good this is a good card that's been released, right? Again, not a card I would do necessarily myself because he's from Argentina and not necessarily from a club that you know, you could get good links within a meta, but he looks pretty awesome, right? Let's go check out some club, uh, some teams we can make with him. I'm sure Argentina has probably like a few players that are probably worth uh, looking into. Because the way that you would link him in a team is if you use people from the Argentinian League or Legends, right? Uh, so I think it's called the Super Super something. I already skipped it. I'm just gonna look at the country real quick here. Argentina, Argentina. Do, 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 do. I already skipped it probably. Mexico, Cl Colombia. Where's Argentina? There it is. Okay, so let's see if they have any good players from Argentina. Uh, there is Pavan, who plays in the same team. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily do him myself, but it is a possibility. They have Pavan, Tevez, and Zarate. That's actually interesting. Is Buenos Aires Boca Juniors? Oh, it is Boca Juniors. I guess they all. I guess because Pez has the license for Boca Juniors. I don't know. Um, I was I was looking on that. I'm like, who's Buenos Aires? I remember him playing for uh, for Boca Juniors. I mean, you could do, see, here's the thing. You could do, like, a fun. Hmm, let me see Azarate's card. He has 86 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Finishing's there, composure's not. I think Pavan's the only player I'd actually link him up with. Because with Pavan, you could put him in a team like this, right? And then you could put, you could put Tevez up top with Pavan. Next up, we'll check up Argentinian players. Because I don't think there's going to be like that many to work with. Let me just reset this. Obviously, like Messi and stuff are the legends, but like we're talking about like regular players, you know. I'm gonna just keep skipping this list down here. You know what? There's a few options you can go with. A Cam Gomez would be a good option. Di Maria. Di Maria's shooting is kind of low. It would be nice if they like increase his shooting. Oh, new Martinez card too. You can put him in a 4-1-2-2. Two, and two. Yeah, they don't really have... Argentina doesn't really have that many good players. Yeah, I don't really see that many. Center back, Rojo, Caleri, Ruli. Yeah, not really much to work with. You could get, you could definitely get the links with him with some decent cards though. Like Di Maria has seventy nine shooting, but he has good composure, so increase that finishing as much as possible, of course. Um, and then you could put Gomez in there too. 
right? Because this Di Maria card is a left mid. So like this, if you were if you were thinking of a fun concept, that would be kind of cool, right? To put him in a team like this. But our, uh, but Di Maria's finishing is very low. That's his uh, probably foot champs card or something. This is a fun concept you can make, right? With the Argentinian players. And then with this, you would need one more player from Argentina. So you could put Gomez. And then a PSG player. Maybe you put like Rabio or something, you know? Have a good center mid to be played as in any position on the pitch. Uh, Rabio here. We're just we're just gonna go at the top of our heads here, right? Because we want to get that green link, right? So that way with Rabio we can link with anybody else. Uh, Gomez is from Atalanta. You don't need the link anymore. French, French, Argentinian, Atalanta. It could just be another player from Atalanta, or let's see what we got here. Syria team. Do, 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 do. Let's search up for Atalanta. Ilicic, no. Ragoni. No. Um Yeah, there's no options there. Gomez on seven chemistry wouldn't be that bad either, to be honest. I'm like thinking how I would do this. <clears throat> Tevez, Aguero, and Dybala. Yeah, I mean, it's it would be nice to do that with like a narrow team. You could definitely do that as well. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm like thinking about this team because with 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 uh, Tevez, Aguero, Dybala, you're still you still need one more link. I mean, you could totally do that right away though with a four and two and two. You have to use, like, Argentinian players, though. So you would go with, like, Tevez up top. And then... Pavon SPC is now expensive. L lol. Yeah, because of the Tevez card. So there's Carlos Tevez. And then there's Aguero. I wouldn't necessarily do this team myself, but it's just teams that would be, like, usable with them. Don't forget Icardi. Icardi's not that great. I don't like him at all. People can use him, but I personally can. I can't. Uh, and then you could be like Gomez. You could put Gomez even here on the side, to be honest. Rocket like this. Oh, that's who I would put in the midfield. Dybala. I almost forgot about Dybala. Because he's from Argentina, so it works perfectly. Because he's a cam card, too. Right? There's your four attackers, right? These are your four attackers. Then you could kind of like change it up and do uh, two CDMs. So you could put someone like, I don't know, someone like Matuidi. High, high workers isn't fantastic. Right, you could do that. Then you could do, uh, maybe like Fernandinho or something. Fernandinho. Right, you could put Fernandinho on the team. Conte was Conte. Oh, Conte would work too. Yeah, because he's from uh, he's from France. Conte is an expensive option though. He's four hundred k, but just showing an example here. Put Conte in there. Got those two links there. You could put like um, you could use a new the Alonso card, but I don't know if people did the SPC one because there's the SPC Europa League card. Can't be too bad with that one, right? You could do that, or you can do Mendy from Manchester City. If Benjamin if Benjamin Mendy gets like a, a good inform card, then he'll be pretty awesome. All right? You got the French links there. Right? As long as you have your two CDMs and you have your attackers up top, right? You got the you got the links over there too. Uh, right back, you can use someone like Cancelo. Ramo, uh, Veron Ramos de Marcos. Ooh. That's really good, actually. Veron? Ramos? Ramos? 
I'm streaming. That's why, like, when I'm making this video, it's it's uh, like I'm pausing in between. It's because of that. <laughs> People are gonna be watching this on YouTube. Like, bro, this is so unorganized. But this is how I, this is how I do all my videos. Oscar DeMarcos. He has a he has a pretty good inform actually. Put him in there. Goalie could be Courtois. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This is a full 100 chem team too. Uh, center forward on the on on, uh, on Gomez, so that's why you have to. Uh, that's why you would have to change that uh, to a cam or a center mid, right? So you can use this team with a four two three one. You know, use Agueros, Tevez, DiBala, and and Gomez as your attackers. You can use a four four two with Conte and Matuidi as your uh, two midfielders. You have a decent back four, not a great back four. Um, the left back's probably the biggest nuisance in the team because everybody else is like pretty decent in their own way. But uh, not necessarily too bad. Not necessarily too bad. Uh, Alexandro's meta for a reason, I guess. High, high work rates on that card, yeah. Pretty solid. It's, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad team. But it, it could definitely be better. I think, I think Mendy is the only nuisance in the team. Everybody else is like good in their own way. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to include the video for today, guys. Those, that's the type of team you can make with Carlos Tevez. Uh, you could get probably the cheaper options. You could probably get like Nacho instead of uh, Sergio Ramos and make that work, right? Um, stuff like that, right? Varane, is there like a French center back? There's Longley. You can use Longley too. He's a cheaper option, but he's not necessarily that great, right? But just just an idea of a team you guys can make if you want to have fun with the game. Or MTT, yeah, MTT too. Uh, but yeah, that is conclude the video. conclude the video for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.